Hi to all, first of all welcome to my channel and uh, a very big thanks to all my subscribers because I am gaining uh, positive uh, response and more views like comparing uh, previous videos. So in the last video we discussed about lot of uh, like uh, still as of now we finished uh, 8 videos uh, in the topic of Linux. So in the Linux we already started from the scratch. So today we will continue with pipes and redirections. So here in the Linux the pipes and uh, redirections is a like like one of the core concept because in real time or like anywhere the pipes and re redirections will use like uh, like in the day they are using definitely they will uh, they are using pipes and redirections so here coming to uh, pipes and redirections, redirections first i'll explain with the content so then i'll go with some examples then you can get some cl clear picture idea about so i need comments actually so i am not getting much comments so i need your uh, uh, comments in the comment section so please feel free to uh, mention comments if you need anything uh, like if you need uh, this text or uh, document then I'll uh, try to upload and I'll uh, share the link so coming to pipes and redirections we can use these pipes for the joining and executing multiple commands together so and we can use this pipe is uh, like this pipe command is used for joining two Linux shell commands and execute together and uh, like this command 2 and command 3 then I'll show you the example how these commands will join and will execute together so in the above statement command 2 gets executed first and the output produced by command 2 will be passed to as an input to the command 3 so this is the concept so for example this is the concept this is the cat i am using for creating the file so the double c l for the count of the words here right so i'll show you now uh, so uh, I will explain about these things and all so LSL will get the complete list about this one and who means like uh, who like who was the user like who am I means like we can you try uh, type in the line name, then we will get the user name so uh, like that so and PSCF it shows the running whole process so how many processes are running by the user like PS uh, slash EF means we can uh, we are able to see the running process like whom uh, who are the running the process like the user or the root user then and someone if the root or uh, like the user are running running the uh, uh, process so we are able to see so this is the concept and then coming to redirections i'll explain you later so i'll show you first of all i'll create a one file so then i'll explain about the these concept pipes yeah so here i'm going so uh, right so i'm going to create a one file here first dot txt so i am saying some document here some text so i saved here let me show you the file is there or not You see we are able we are all, we have created one file so in the file we uh, saved august 15th welcome so now this uh, how the pipes is used where i will show you now the same thing here cat first dot text double you see I'll see uh, the code count like uh, the lines count we are able to see it here two is there so now we are able to see that see like if you want i will modify the document like this take uh, this file then i will show you I'll show you once see uh, one second edit what is the file name first wait it will open in the gedit see right here two uh, only two lines is there i am saving one more line saved now right so i'll go to then back here right see now we are able to see the count as three right so this is the here we are using this pipe command for to see the like exact count this is the another command like this is the list but here we are using pipe <coughs> we are combining two five commands here right so coming to next uh, these are the things uh, like i'll show you now so coming to ls l means so where the see the list right now uh, i want to see the list 
uh, and the count right so one second i typed him wrong here yes second see uh, here previous uh, here we are able to see right how many uh, uh, these files is there so now the count exactly the count we are able to see right 37 right the count is so coming to here so here also we use which command pipe Two, for two commands you are able to see right now lsln is a command and double c is the command we are able to see the list uh, of the count of the uh, like the uh, files so next coming to uh, like who so this i think most of should know who so is the user right i am the user now so i want to see the count of the users so here also i am we are come we are using uh, this command See one if uh, there is a multiple users we are able to see two multiple users so now i am logging with root user right so now i am able to see the only user uh, that's me like i am able to see the one count right so now i'll show you now how many uh, so now i want to see how many number of process are running by the user right this is the command for this actually so i'll show you now sorry see uh, this is the process sorry so this is the number of process are running see now you are able to see right by the whom like i am right so now i want to see particularly uh, uh, only one uh, for example i will show you now let me open any this one here yeah, firefox right so i open firefox now I have opened Firefox, right? One second, let me go to here. I will run one more time. Oh, it's showing the current one actually. See here, one second. here uh, yeah see right now you are able to see the firefox right so it's running so now i want to see <coughs> particularly this firefox based on this one so what we are going to use here see ps minus ef the pipe command grep the content what's the firefox right so these are we are using firefox second one sorry one second i missed something yeah so, so i think this one is not little because it's showing the count actually one second Sorry, I missed the E actually here in the comments. So that's the, that's what I did wrong. Grep. And the double quote is also not needed actually. See, uh, by the name here we use two pipes or two pipe commands to redirect. To see, this is the one command and this is the one more command and this is a count command, right? So if you see here, so we here uh, this one right uh, firefox right ps uh, firefox so firefox if, if you are able to see where exactly it's running so now we can't uh, go and we can't search right in this lot of files so we can use grep and we can use uh, pipe command to redirect so how where exactly it's uh, the firefox is there we are able to see this uh, firefox right and one more thing so if i want to see like uh, these things are running by sai right so i am the running so i want to see who are the running by uh, number of running by the user so for this one this is the command 
one second it's minus so uh, okay sir mind i'm right see yeah uh, the count is showing uh, so so i am running here 77 so previous we were able to see right let me show you there is a right so now i want to see the root so here i am i am running uh, so we are able to see right sai here so now i want to see based on the root root also managing right so i want to see the root here let me go back to here and root See 88 right yeah that's it about the pipe so coming to redirections redirections are used for redirecting standard input or output of the command actually there is a two types of redirections as the is there like uh, the input redirection and output redirection so usually a command writes the output on the standard console if you want to write the output of a command to a different destinations like a file then uh, we use the output redirection this uh, this is the symbol we are using so like for example i'm i'm copying the content of the two text files into third file so for this one i'll create two files and then after that i'll uh, i'll copy the text into another file so this is the command we are using for the redirection for example there is a some data in the two files and those two files the data we are copying to third file right so let me show you let me create two new files first one what the name we i'm giving here Sorry, three, three thousand. So let me create one more file. So I'm using here. Sorry, I didn't mention the format here. Sorry. Let me go back to. Yeah, we'll start with this one. Txt. So the same that I'm giving. So let me we'll, we'll consider with this trust one is a first file. Uh, trust one dot txt because I'll get some little bit confusion so why I need to create the so those are same that I'm using don't forget 3000 so let me create one more file with trust to 2 trust to 2 dot txt so here uh, 4 40 right uh, 5 60 6 70 right so uh, let me close now i want to, if you i want to see the uh, trust one and trust two files like it's saved or not already is the trust one uh, txt so with so right now <clears throat> so i am using here redirection that means uh, i am saving the text in the third file for example i am copying the contents from two text files and i am copying the third file so here so for the i am using for the redirection for the com redirection command here one second cat what's the file name first one first one dot txt next one trust two dot txt and the third one i am going to create trust three txt 
no, i want to see you want to see right like uh, the two files data is there or not in the trust tree see uh, trust one of the data one two three right trust three data sorry trust two data four five six so one two three four five six right so i hope you understand about these concepts like pipes and redirections so if you like my video please like and subscribe thanks for watching